Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today we're gonna to be working on the final two cards from the my uh, Simple Stories card kit. And this card kit is Baking Spirits Bright. And I've already pulled apart the items that we need to make the two cards. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start putting these together. So with these cards, Usually, um, when you get to the end, there's elements that are left, and if you've seen my previous videos, you'll notice um, sometimes I'll put them on the inside of the card, um, sometimes on the envelopes. It just depends on um, what the item is and how I'm feeling when I'm putting my cards together. So this particular collection has a lot of extra pieces. So much so, I didn't do... Um, adding it into the card as I normally would um, because it was just too much too much to pull apart too much um, yeah so <laughs> I'm gonna wait until actually when I get to Christmas time and I prepare these to give out to people then I'll decorate according uh, to whoever it is I'm giving it to okay so right now, I'm adding down the sentiment after I've attached the circle. And you could technically um, use foam here, pop up the sentiment if you wanted to. On this one, I'm leaving it all pretty flat. Um, I know I, I just wanted to use my glue. It was easy. It was right there. And I'm just putting some on the backs of everything. And we're just going to go ahead and lay it down. And then with the chipboard pieces, like this heart, same thing, just a little bit of wet glue. So if you don't have much in your craft room and you're just, you're wanting to get started, you're wanting to see what card making is about, and you don't have a whole lot in supplies, you literally can do it with just a glue bottle, um, with one tape runner if you want it, and you'd still make beautiful cards. Okay, so don't be afraid of these. I know Photo Play, um, I did get one of their card kits and I was a tad bit overwhelmed because not everything is cut out. So, with that, you know, feeling overwhelmed, I decided not to use one of their um, particular, you know, card kits. I like simple stories because everything is perforated um, and the instructions are so easy to go by um, and what to pull out. I've really enjoyed putting these together. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and get the base paper attached to the card front. I think my only thing with these card kits would be if they did just a slightly better quality of card bases. Um, there, the card base is a little light and with a lot of the chipboard pieces, it can be, um, a little heavy for it. So that would be my only thing if I had a complaint about it. Um, but if you are a person who has tons of card stock in your stash, then use some of your own heavier stock, you know, I don't think it would be uh, a bad thing. I've done it before because I've wanted more quality card stock. I just grabbed my own stash. But I also like showing you guys, you know, using what comes in the kit. So here we're going to glue down our chipboard sentiment. And then we're going to start layering everything. And now that I've completed the card, I already know that I didn't move everything over as far as I probably needed to. And you'll see that come up as an issue when I put the photos on. Um, which will be coming up soon. A lot of this is chipboard. Um, the tree was a card die cut, what they call a die cut piece. The chair is chipboard. And then the two photos are also chipboard. And I'm just cleaning up a little bit of the wet glue because sometimes it does ooze out, but it dries clear. So, you know, it's going to be okay. So on this one, I go to put down... Santa Claus and then we're supposed to put Mrs. Claus just slightly down you know a little angle and it's supposed to hit right above that green um, dark green line of the paper that we put down well I didn't have it over far enough 
and the glue had already set so mine is going to be in a slightly different spot and i'm okay with that it's still on the card and then we're going to just put down these three stars that go into the upper left hand side one wound up being a uh, die cut star and then the other two were little chipboard stars all right and then that's it just that quick now these last two they really came together really quite quick um i didn't use the the folio this time i just used the wet glue and everything um came along really uh very easy you know what i mean but on the grand scheme of things like i said if you have a glue stick if you have um the wet glue or tape runner you can put these cards together and it's super simple and it's a way to get cards that you know in looking at it you're like well it's not a layout but it is you know it's a sketch you have a centerpiece you have your elements you have your sentiment and it creates a card shape you know what i mean so i, I like these I'm enjoying them. It's giving my brain a break from trying to figure out dimensions and sizes on stuff, you know, because everything is pre-thought up. So I, I, I like these. I think these are a great break. So we're going to go ahead and bring out all the cards that we did with this collection. So perfect for Christmas in July. I'm so glad I found this one. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot I had this. <laughs> So Baking Spirits Bright, and you get eight cards, which will be great to send out for the holidays. I love the colors with the pinks and greens and blues, and I'm showing you here all the extra bits. You really do have a lot, and all those sheets of paper, I mean, there's tons of extras that you could put on the insides or on the envelope, so... Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed the series and I hope that you have a great weekend. If you have any comments or questions or anything, just leave them down below. And if this is your first time here, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Um, I have Friday videos every week um, for my sketch series and I would love for you to join our little community here. Thanks again, you guys, and I hope you have a great day.